This AP with AP TV Productions. I'm here with Luck. How you doing today, gang? I'm chilling, y'all. Uh, you know we doing the same shit. Hey, hey, shit for real, for real, though. Uh, so let the people know, like, what other names that you go by, what you they can find your music by. I go by MBK Luck or Zanny Luck. That's really it for real. And which art? Which was like your first artist name? MBK Luck. I use that shit when I'm doing like drill songs. Okay. Feel me like. Is any luck? That should be like them fun songs. I'll be doing like some little Uzi beats and shit. And where are you from? I'm from um, I'm from Brunswick, but I stay out here now. But I'm really from Brunswick, the the Ville. Okay, okay. And how was it growing up in uh, Brunswick? <sighs> it was alright. It wasn't really. It wasn't too much problems back in the day. How it is now? I felt like what about this? Feel me back. Feel me like. It wasn't really all Everything that's going on now, that, like all the beef is like, this niggas we all grew up with. Yeah. So everybody was playing together at Punch Street Park at one point. You feel what I'm saying now? That's why, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And like, what is it like out in Brunswick, like for the people that don't know? So, I mean, people that be in like, that's not really into or nothing, they don't think it's, it's nothing going on because they used to like college at Rutgers area, yeah. so they don't really know. So everything to them is just parties, fun, but it's like, it really get like that. So, like, would you call, like, New Brunswick the suburbs? Because, you know, like you said, like, I know College Ave, a lot of people, you know, there's ruckus down there, but when you go off College Ave, like, to different parts, you know, it's different. Yeah. I'd say that's that's the suburbs. Like, College mm -hmm. Ave, that would be the suburbs. Yeah. Going past that, everything else, yeah. that's shit. It's different. Yeah, man, you can feel me being the suburbs. <laughs> Too far <laughs> up. Uh, how you get your name going up? Hold on, Tweet Cool. Uh, yeah, basically, like, it was like 2018. What, my rap name? Yeah. Like, it was 2018. I was about to finish school. Me and my, me and my man's Gotti, Roz, we all got kicked out of school for some okay. fight shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feel me? They went to a um, Somerset Academy. They put me in night school. Like right they was they was talking about graduation. I told him like I ain't walking, I ain't, I ain't doing it. So it's like my man's got he was the first one that started rapping. I was just supporting him. You feel me? I already knew how to rap. I just wasn't taking nothing serious. Mm -hmm. And he just he was like, alright, we about to start this group. He really the one that came up with the name like MBK. And all of us just ran with it, like, fuck, even niggas that don't rap, like, they part of the shit. And I, and, I, and I see Gotti, he hard, so like, besides you, Gotti, like, how many other people, and who else is part of the group, MBK? Uh, my man, my man's Rob, my man's Peasy, who in the army in Germany, and everybody else who I be with, like, them too. So, you guys all make music? Yeah. Hey, man. You can introduce who you with right now? That's the homie Spaz. That's the homie Spawn. Um, I really be on the music shit too, but I don't really feel me. Take it too. But it's gonna get there though. Shit gonna yeah, definitely get there though. Right. Shit gonna get there. Shit was lit at first, like, yeah. when we, it was like, what, like, July 2020 around there? I got back for six months. I had a, I had a buzz. Like, mm -hmm. I was in LA for three months living out there. Came <laughs> back, fucked up. And it just, like, Got back on the gram, it wasn't the same because I ain't, I ain't let nobody take control of my Instagram. I ain't trust nobody like that. Yeah. So I was just like, fuck it. Just let my shit be dead for right now. Came back. At first, the shit was jumping again. But I just stopped dropping music. And then now my shit deleted. I'm going to get it back, though. And hey, shout out your new gram for the people. I'm Zanny Luck. That's my new gram. Well, I got to you. Nah, ask about luck. Yeah, that's my new one. A S K B O U T L U C K. Let's mm -hmm. see that shit right up there. I am Zanny Luck too. I am X A N and Y Luck. You know that shit there too. Both of them going up anyway. Don't even matter which one. I'm gonna get the old one back though. That's that's the one I really need. Old oh, what new what shit go go up shit go jump you know it's there. Up. It up. And how was life living in Cali for you? That shit was lit. <laughs> oh, wow. It was different. Like, at first, it was like, it was ass, but then it was like, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I got, a, I got an addiction with the drugs. So it was like, out throwing Melrose, it was like some random nigga. He, he stopped me and my peoples and was like, he was like, y'all yeah, fuck with Zans? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. I'm like, yeah, what Zans you got? He was like, I only got three of them, that's three. Y'all, I'm like, 
damn, I ain't even really trying to share them other two. You feel me? But the homie paid for them, so after that, it was lit. Like, I just started fucking with it, going to clubs and shit. And then I found the, I found the plug for all the pills, so I was just like, fuck it. And I just came back up here for a little bit and got in trouble. That's what that did, came for right there. Mm-hmm. Cali. Zanny Luck, word Zanny up. Zanny Luck, Cali, how you fool? <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Said you already know you feel me first go shit ad but you feel me you make a way everywhere you go you feel yeah, what I'm saying yeah, you was Cali yeah. shit bad I brought feel me stay it yeah. real quick yeah. man. Yeah. niggas gonna get that shot get like my first buzz was like up here and then then I started chilling in Phillipsburg I got a buzz quick out there mm-hmm. too at yeah. parties and shit okay said trap boy without there everything mm-hmm. going crazy. Yeah, shit. Hey, Word, man, everybody know me for trapping his hands. Word up. Uh, so, like, would you say like you take music like serious, like you do, and you do it full time, or like more like so outside doing you? Nah, like it'd be like once in a blue, I record something when I'm in the crib, but most of the time I'll be outside. I be I don't be back until like four or five in the morning. Shit, records and that shit right to me. Mm-hmm. But, Shit hard, feel me? So you be going to the studio or you say like you record yourself? And I record like, myself. Okay. If like, if the homies wanna go to the studio, I'm gonna go with them. Like, I'll do that, but it's like, it's bridge I don't really, I don't like going cause engineers don't be like, knowing what they doing, like don't know how to work niggas voice and shit. Oh yeah. That's how I be feeling yeah. too, another thing. They just be throwing whatever preset on mm-hmm. it, thinking that shit sound good, it'll be ass. Mm. You gotta have shit. That's what I was trying to tell you. Mean, it's like, I be fried in the school, so it's like, I don't even be knowing. Like, I be like, yo, this shit hard, though. It's like, when you sober up, you must still like, yo, this yeah. shit ass. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. fuck with this shit. Mm-hmm. It's like shit. So, would you say, like, you mix and master your own stuff, too? Some, like, I don't be mixing it, but it's like, the little app I be using on my phone, it be sounding like I'm in the school, it be sounding like it's already mixed. So, I just be, I be cutting the background noises in there and shit, and I just be. I just be putting it out. I don't even put it out. I really just shoot videos to this shit. Low ass right. videos. Yeah. And talk about your relationship with Rory. I see you got a lot of vi- uh, visuals out with him. Rory, that's my boy, you feel me? He like he like recording with me because like the music I make, that's the shit he into. Cause he used to rap too. So it's like he liked like the underground sound shit like Can Can, So Fago, he into that shit. So it's like he he fuck with recording with me. It's like every time he record me. He come up with something new all the time, I swear. I always see like your, your visuals have like different things. Mm-hmm. Like he be going crazy he and they all different. Like right, the last yeah. video, he was like, yo, play the game. He was like, face the TV. I'm going to put you on a TV screen and make it look like you playing the, playing yourself on the game. <laughs> so it was hard. That shit hard. And like what's some other cameraman that you work with too? My boy Kev. Okay. Kev Souza. He hard too. So like what age and, and like what age and what year would you say like you start taking your music seriously? And what's one of the first songs? When I was you 18. Made? Uh I made a song called Skyler. That shit had I ain't gonna lie, that yeah. shit was it. That shit was it. It was about some girl from my man's was going out with her. He had he had hit it in the bathroom. Right after he hit it, I hit it downstairs. I was just like, we ran off with that shit, like, she a Skyler, like, we just use her name as, like, it's a definition for a, a homie hopping bitch, yeah. like, she a Skyler, no okay. cat. Then I got a hoodie made that, that got the, you know how the definition box be on Google? Yeah. I got that shit in the back of the hoodie, it's like Skyler, a girl who hopped from one homie to another homie. Right mm-hmm. So, like, where, where did your motivation come from for making music? Just watching Gotti go off, like, watching bro do his thing. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna fuck with this shit. Like, at first I was never going to do it, like. And then he started going crazy. I'm like, yeah, I might as well do it. I ain't, I ain't going to school. I ain't doing none of that. I don't want to work for nobody. I ain't getting no job. I'm not working for nobody. Yeah, so it's like, like music going to be the way. Fuck it. I ain't beat for nobody. I would if it was some good money, but I ain't doing it. And what's like? Who's like one of the artists that you like listen to? Uh, who are some of the artists that you listen to growing up? Uh, Lil Uzi for real. 
But like now at this point, I don't, I don't be listening to nobody like that. I listen to my own shit. Like I record and just, I just listen to myself. Word it up. That's what I fuck about my boy the most, man. He ain't never need nobody for nothing. Everything I know, he sent me on my phone. I know that shit's straight him. You know what I'm saying? Everything off the top, so I don't be writing nothing. Right, you get in the studio, you feel me? You like, nah, this shit ass, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why I don't write, because you contradict yourself. You feel what you feel in the studio, you feel me? Yeah. I feel like when you in the studio, feel me? Still listen to him, feel me? Got a song, you feel me? Right. Feel him. I be saying whatever in my head, like whatever come off, I'm gonna say it. Just keep right. punching in on that shit. And describe like a day for you in the studio. That's the first thing. Bro. Like I'll be high up, like before, like when niggas was going to law for nine, like after every session, like niggas had to carry me out. I'll be bent, bent up. Can't smoke no valley though. I was saying, like last time I, last time I went there, it's like I took like thirteen zans. I feel me, I'm trying to record, like. I'm like, yo, start the beat over, I'm about to record right now. He like, yo, the mic not even in front of you yet. Like, you cooking. No. And I just started blacking out, passing out. They just tried to wake me up, they took me to the hospital. Ended up in rehab for like two weeks. Yeah. Feel me, they was on some shit like, if they don't take your meds, we gonna keep you on. I'm like, fuck it, so I'm taking these shit. As soon as they release me, I'm back on them Zans again. You say like you make better music under the influence, or that's just like your preference? Yeah, I think all, all, most of my songs, I'm high. Like, every single song I made, like, I'm high as hell. Word up. I be feeling like it sound better. Like, but, like, now that I'm a little, I'm a little clean, like, I still fuck around, but it's like, I'm more clean than what I was. So it's like, my shit sound even way better. Word up. That shit sound way, way better. And like, how would you say, like, you developed your skills for rapping, like, over, and making music over the years? Shit. Who oh, did? Just YouTube beats, like, yeah. whatever I feel sound like I should be on it, I'm gonna just use it and just practice freestyling on it. And it's like, when I really take time to sit down, I'm gonna record on that shit and I'm gonna go all the way on it. And like, like how long does it usually take you to make a song? <laughs> 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. Top stuff. <laughs> no. My mother, top stuff. I swear to God. Really? Not even 15, fuck 15, you know what I'm saying? How's it going? I'm gonna say from the time of the time of the beat mm. to probably like five minutes after that on eight mile up. So yeah. Time of the beat, most of the time nigga don't even be fucking up on everything. Mm-hmm. Shit be wild. And, and like when you make a song, like are you writing the hook first or are you just nah, straight just verse? Whatever, straight don't verse, whatever on my head. Okay. Like you feel me? It's like sometimes I'll be making verses that sound like a hook, so I'll loop it like it's a hook. Mm-hmm. And do you three have music together yet? Me and Form got one. Now we got, got two. two. We got two. Me and Spaz yeah, yeah, yeah. still got two in there. But yeah, we got two. Now we got two. Now we got a couple shit. Me and Rook ain't get no shit yet. We definitely is, though. Yeah. We definitely gonna get some soon. And when y'all plan to drop that, or is it already released? It's all. I believe that's what I'm saying. Yeah, everything, yeah, everything I'm released. Like, niggas just be liking to listen to they self. Like, mm-hmm. like whoever called me and we niggas got the voice, yeah. like we listen to our own, our own shit. And that's really, that's really like a, a testing tactic too. Like, feel me not releasing, but just recording, mm-hmm. chilling with people, playing the shit. Yeah. People won't give you on this band. Even, don't even tell them it's you at first. You feel what I'm saying? Word up. Ass or nice. Feel me? Just gonna pop like, yo, who died? Hell yeah. So, Word up. How many unreleased songs would you say you got? About 250. Yeah, what's the hold up for that? I just need my buzz back. Yeah. Once I get that, I'm gonna start dropping shit. And as like right now, like how do you like promote yourself and market yourself as an artist? I I really don't like I just be dropping video this videos and it's like whoever fuck with it gonna fuck with it. I don't be caring about views no more. Like, feel me? Like before I was streaming probably like fifty to hundred k on on SoundCloud and shit. And it's like when I got back, I was just like yo. Feel me? Somebody had my SoundCloud though, not my Instagram. So I'm like, yo, delete all that shit. I'm gonna come back on some way better shit. Mm-hmm. I just never drop nothing. Like niggas, niggas be in my DM hit me for songs that's like way from 2018. I'm, I be lying like, yo, I don't got that shit no more. But it's like I do. But it's like, nigga, that shit old. Yeah. That shit was supposed to go. Mm-hmm. And how do you, like, how do you feel like you grew as an artist, like from like the first song you made to like now? I feel like. I went from I had a little dirt from L's to motherfucking being the voice type shit like 
I, I just got a whole different sound now. Word up. A whole different sound. And I, how does it feel like to hit numbers? I, like I see you and MBK Gotti, you're uh, black and blood, blood, like over 100, over 100K, like within 10 months. Like how does that make you feel to see like people tuning into you like that? I'll fuck with it. That's what's up. Like, I'll fuck with shit like that. And it's like Gotti, he gonna be Gotti do the ads and shit. So he know how to like, for me, Gotti ran the ad on that shit and got that shit booming. Real talk. And like, how, like, did you guys know that it was gonna blow up? Like before, like when y'all nah. was in the studio, y'all was just making it just to remix a song. Nah, feel me? Like, he was just like, yo, you hopping on this? I'm like, feel me? At first, I'm like, damn, like I ain't, I ain't rapping mad long. Like I was just doing hella Uzi beats. So I was like, this shit gonna be a challenge, and I just did it. And like, he kept calling. He's like, yo, we doing a hundred k or better on this? I bet you he is. And then Rory came through with the video. I was like, yeah, this this a hundred k plus video it gotta be. His video hard. <laughs> Good luck, man. Yeah. Like that shit is lit. And like, what would you say like is a fan favorite? Like who I'm a fan of? Like your fan favorite like song like what's a fan favorite uh, of yours? Skyler. 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 I be rapping that shit. I wake up in the morning. <laughs> I swear to God, Skyler. I wake up in the morning rapping that shit sometimes. It's like, that's like, I got like four versions of that shit. Yeah. Like, I made hella Skyler remixes. And what's like your favorite song that you made so far? Uh, my most recent shit is, is this drill shit called Never Let Up. It's, some, it's mild disrespectful, yeah. but it's like, yeah. that's how we got to be. Yeah. 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 Oh, you plan on dropping that? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a yeah. video yeah. with Rory yeah. after I get it mixed up. Okay. This shit going to be hard. I know it. And like, how do you how do you come up? Like, I know you said, like, so you don't really prefer to do drill, but, but you do it sometimes. Like, how do you yeah. decide? Like, mm -hmm. like, you just go by your mood? Yeah, okay. for real, it does. If I'm in a, if I'm just sitting in the crib, I'm listening to a hard ass drill sample. It's like, all right, I gotta do this shit. Might as well do it. My main problem is like, I start songs, get into like a minute of, minute of it, and it's like I just stop, start a whole new beat, and never go back and finish that shit. That's my main problem. Do you have a certain engineer that you work with that like makes your beats? Like, where do you get your beats from? It'd be like random. Random heads on Instagram, they just like, yo, check your email, I sent you beat packs. I'm like, all right, I'm about to sit. Some of them might be skipping because they really be ass as hell. But it's like, I got this one one producer that's really hard. His name like Grano 808. He worked with Trippy Red and all the, he hard. He make like rage beats. Shit crazy. And like, what would you say is like the most challenging aspect of making music? Promoting probably. Yeah. Promoting. I mean, some people are like, they'll keep a post up and we post the same shit every day. I don't want to do that because, like, that's how motherfuckers, like, they either don't follow you or they're going to you, like, yo, stop reposting the same shit. Like, just, just drop a new video, <laughs> nigga. It's like, nah, I don't promote but they don't be, they don't be beat for that. And I know you said Gotti does the ads. Like, would you see yourself doing ads, like, when you dropping music going forward? You know, yeah, too? most likely because right now, like, the main reason I'm mad my Instagram going because it's like my shit was in the process of getting verified. Yeah. Like, my man's from LA and shit, he, he know how to, um, he plugged in with like people that do the articles and shit. Like, you need articles and press to get verified. So it was like, all I needed was two more videos. I got the two videos done. I just don't got my account no more. And like, he was, he was going to do the last two articles on me and then he was going to hit the nigga from Facebook, like, verify his Facebook and his Instagram, like, he ready. It's like, I'm gonna get it back. New content that you have coming out besides the song. Uh, yeah. Damn, what I got? Damn, I, what the? F got like any new albums, mixtapes, like singles? Nah, I don't even. Probably singles, yeah. But it's like I don't even be naming them. Like I just be putting random shit on the title, like the hashtag percent symbol. And it's like I just drop it just like that. I just named my song random hella shit like okay yeah I don't know like maybe yeah you have like a hard time getting up like <laughs> yeah. concepts and names hell yeah 
Yeah, that's when the freestyle should come in for me. Mm -hmm. Freestyling, so the song don't really be having a hook and they don't really be having a main meaning. No, you so what you gonna call it? Can't call every song freestyle or no mm -hmm. hook. So that's some smart shit. That's some feel me some different shit. Niggas don't do that. I bro. Like ID K. That's the song right. title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then me and Rory got another video. And this shit completed just my account, so it was like I told him just hold that shit till yeah. we till it's ready. Like, so would you say like you're gonna wait to drop music to like when you get your other account back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And do you have like a manager or someone that manages you or uh, are you just doing it dolo? My man is Matt. He my manager and shit. I've been fucking with him since like yeah, since twenty eighteen. Yeah. And shout his Instagram out. Matt underscore MGMT. Get with him. So if someone wants a feature from you, like you going to go through you or through Matt? They'll go through him, but it's like, they'll hit me too at the same time, so I just be like, all right, fuck it. But it's like, most of the times I don't be liking to do features. Okay. Unless it's like, my people, it's like, because other niggas really, like, they don't be, they can't keep up. I <laughs> can't shit, keep up, so it's like, I'll be shit. like, nah, like, I'll go to the steward and all that, like, it'd be they engineer shit. Once the engineer Send me that shit. I listen to this shit. I'm like, nah. I even know the, the nigga again. Like, yo, send me that same song without his verse on it. I need it back. <laughs> I, be, I be wanting my verse back. I'm like, nah, my bad, man. I be wanting my verse back for niggas. Shit. And like, what would you say is some of your hobbies outside of making music? Like, what you be doing when you're not making music? Shit, GTI. Yeah, GTI. GTI, or I'm in Phillipsburg just chilling. Uh, I'm with a, a couple of smoochies. So let us sit. That GTA shit get dangerous yeah, though. GTA, that's Listen, the move. This not my man's on GTA. I don't know this nigga, bro. <laughs> see this nigga slide down the stack. That's it. And I see like recently, like looking at your Instagram, you cut your hair, like cut your dress. What made you? Like, would you like cut them halfway? Bleached them too much. Okay. So it was like my shit was damaged. Start falling down, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna start over. I already knew my shit was gonna grow fast as hell. So I was like, fuck it. If I take the braids out now, they probably like, to my jaw. Okay. But it's like. But you gonna grow them back though? Hell yeah. Okay. I ain't cutting shit this time. <laughs> I ain't cutting nothing. I ain't bleaching, doing nothing. And have you ever performed before? Nah, some reason I hate that shit. You wouldn't perform? Really like that shit, nah. <laughs> it don't even be no shot shit, it's just like, mm -hmm. I, ain't, I don't be beat for that. Yeah. You wouldn't think like performing like will help you expand like your fan base, like performing in front of people that don't know you? It just might, getting yeah. your name out there? Yeah, it will, but it's like, out here it's like mostly everybody, they, they know me, so it's like, it's just like, fuck it. I don't got to perform, they already be following me. Like, and let the people know like where they can find your music at. You can find my uh, shit <laughs> right now. <laughs> probably nowhere. Like uh, you can probably find like two or four songs on SoundCloud. That's probably like most recent. Anywhere else, like if you search me up on Apple Music, it's like features I did for niggas. Okay. And it's like I don't know. I don't be. I don't give out weak features either. Like. I be feeling like when I hop on somebody's song that I don't know, it's like I'm blessing these shit. So it's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all the way in on the feature too. I don't even, I ain't gonna lie, I be feeling like my features be better than my my actual verses on my own songs. Or not. That's why like that's why you said like you prefer to do songs by yourself then. Mm-hmm. Okay. And who who your top five artists in Jersey that you rocking with? Right now. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh my God! Damn! I don't even. I don't even know. A couple niggas going crazy right yeah, now. Flames, a couple. my son. Flames from the spies. He going bananas. Free flames. Yeah, bro. flames. Rich going crazy. Rich right going now. down. Torch. I fuck with torch shit. Torch going crazy. What is it? Two more. Yeah. Bam man, Bam man going nuts. You already know. That's Mando though. You feel me? Bam man, that's Mando. You feel me? Man, that, 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 that
ATM, baby ATM. Feel me? Yeah. Do what you gotta do. Feel me? It's mad, man. Yeah, it's mad, man. I was fucking my son. I was fucking my son. I was on heavy nope. too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, no. I was looking for real. Ella was hard. Yeah, yeah Ella was hard. I'm just that. My son, DG Uda, he hard. Couple of hard niggas, bro. I'm just that. Like, like what was like? What would be like some of your goals and like your plans? Like I know, like you know, you say you want to build your buzz back. Like how you gonna do I'm that for you? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move back to LA once I'm off this drug court shit. Like they just holding me over there. Like if they was able to let me transfer my shit, I probably would have been out there right now. That's all it be like LA. It's just a whole different scenery. Like it's easy to blow up. Like you run into mad different people. I would have been yeah. out there probably right now if I was on this shit. You think it would be like better to pursue your uh, music career in LA than Jersey right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Jersey, sometimes sure. you can get like a crap in a bucket on you know, uh, at mm. point. Where mm. not? Start to feel like shit in the mud. So it would be nice, man. You feel me? Yeah. And you got freestyle for your supporters? Huh? You got freestyle for your supporters? Huh? I don't even gonna lie, I don't even have a freestyle word. Yeah, nah, niggas punch in, punch out. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I just, yeah, I just punch in on the punch beat. Punch in, okay. Yeah, so it's like, it's like really I'm freestyling on the beat, but it's like, then again, it's not. Cause it's like, I ain't freestyle doing it all in one shot. Bro. Yeah, punch so like you coming up like with the lines while you're in the studio, punch but you're not writing line. it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And besides like building your buzz back, what are some of your other goals and plans for the year? Shit, just make more money. That's really it. I just be wanting more money. Shit. I don't really be having no goals. It's either making with music or make enough money to blow myself up with music. That's all it's about. Like, biggest thing is about like, like it is. It do got to do with connections and shit, but it's like it's really like you gotta invest in yourself. You gotta have a bag to be where you wanna be. Right up. And what is one message that you would give to your supporters? Fuck with y'all, keep doing what y'all doing. And I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Right up. Fuck with all y'all.